Okay, good day, guys. Hope we all good. Uh, we've got one runner on uh, C5 today. I'm looking at um possible cells coming out of the range which we currently in. So we've got this range here, or choppiness, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm looking forward to is price actually pushing all the way down, possibly to take out this and possibly to go lower. So with that bias in mind, which source do I have? I have this zone, which has been retested. Uh, I've got another zone within there. I've got this one, I've got this zone. So these are my points of interest. Should price retrace to any of the zones? Uh, I'll actually love to take sales. I actually missed this sell from the top here. Would have taken this one. I remember late, late last night we caught this one eventually. Uh, so yeah, that was put there on C5. So I'm only waiting for price to retrace in any of those zones. I've got one runner uh, active in current market price. That's my current view for now. C1000 went crazy yesterday after we took this trade here. There was a minor retracement and it then just melted away. So today what I'm looking for is price actually reached our weekly zone. So I'm trying to check if they want to actually continue pushing down or they would rather retrace maybe into the zone or on the moving average. I think I'll still remain bearish for now. Yeah, I'll still remain bearish for now. Let's see. So this is H1. Um, so if price does come down and uh, go below the last H1 candle, if price goes below the last each one candle, I'm going to sell at that point. It's hard to pinpoint the, the area. Okay, right there. If price goes below, let me get the value of that area. If price goes below 59.40, that's a sell. Or oh, 59.38, somewhere there. If price goes below, yeah, okay, this is better, this is better. If price goes below 59.38, then I will consider a scalp sell with a 20 pip target. Then from there, we'll see whether the price is continuing down or it will actually be reversing for the day. So that's my view currently on our C1000. C300, I'm also bearish on it, but I only love to sell this one. When price comes below 43, 43.45. When cut price comes below 43.45, that's when I'll be looking for sales or to enter a sell uh, with TPs below this liquidity and TPs on this zone here. So it could actually be a good trade if it does play out. So it's more of patience here and just stalking it. There is also a possibility our price can come and uh, retest the day's highs, creating an M, which will give us an early entry in this area at the top before we even break that red line. There. So that's my view for now. If price does this, then it will be a different setup playing out. But for now, that's my current view. So I'll keep checking C. Five because I want 
I don't know to actually enter this one. So what I'm anticipating TDI to give here would be something like this. Anyway, on the 50 or on the yellow baseline, so the trade could happen somewhere around here, around 34.22. 34.22 is a possible area for a sell limit for us to get something like that. But again, they can still come up here. They can still come back up here for a triple top. So if mm -hmm. price comes up here, then this runner will have to cut loss on it and wait for price to give us a clear pattern on any of those zones. B1000 looks like it's reversing. Yeah, so we don't have any trade here. Uh, looks like it's a reversal forming. If we do get a trade, it will just be a retracement to the sell. Okay, so intraday we are selling. You can see from yesterday, price has been pushing down. So if we get an opportunity, it will just be for a short term buy. Um, C14. Thousand fourteen thousand. Okay, that's a point of interest for short term. For short term buys here, um, let's see, we've got an order block here. Mm. Okay, we've got an order block V. We're in a downtrend. What we anticipate is for price to create um, a lower high. So initially price is pushing down, right? Lower lows, lower highs. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower lows, something like that. So if we can get a, a pattern, we can scalp a retracement. So I think it might happen here, though. My 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 best bet is around this area. Although we cannot rule this particular point out, but my best bet is around 14,000 area to get a possible retracement. Uh, in this downtrend. So that's my view on B1. B5 looks bullish. Yesterday, we did not come back into our point of interest here. Hence, we never shared any, um, any trade on B5. So today, you can see we came above the zone, sort of respecting it. But again, at the same time, we're going sideways. So let's see what higher time frames have. Okay, looks like we're bullish on the daily, possibly coming back up to these highs here on this red line. So I've got a buying bias there. If price retraces back into this gray zone here, which was broken, then I would consider a buy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, forty-seven sixty-two. Okay, so price can potentially come back to today's lows. Maybe slightly take it out before we actually get the buy, that's possible. Then from current market price, prices to break this zone for us to consider buys. So those are the two points of interest. So from M15, you wanna mark this last zone here. If price breaks that one, we are going long. Right, if price breaks this zone, we're going long. That's around 4,800. Once we break above 4,800, we should buy this one. But if we don't break it, let's say if we do this, 
then we'll definitely be coming back to today's laws, potentially or this area here. All we'll need is a pattern or a nameable candle, then we can execute a buy. And we'll still scale in above the zone. So for now, if we do break this right now, we're going to buy. But if we don't and we come down, we're going to buy from this area. So that's my view on B500. Let me just go back to each one and see. K each four. All right, yeah, and there's high potential that we will definitely get to around 4860 area or 4900 if we are lucky. Okay, that's another target at the top there. So let's see what happens. So here again, since we've got a 1350 cross, we might get an ID 50. So price can come slightly below this zone and actually tap into the 50 EMA uh, before pushing up. So we should also keep that in mind. Um, next, J10, J10 has just been playing out. Like we said, it's going all the way to the red line. Okay, this one you spoke about. Today, I don't see any entry. The, the considerable move has happened already unless we get another chance to sell. So let's see. We can price retrace to since we've broken here. This is the last zone which was broken. So potentially price can retrace into that zone before giving us a sell. So that's a point of interest. From H1 is also a point of interest. I would anticipate price to come take out today's highs. Uh, induce buyers, take out liquidity, while it's at the same time going into our zone. So here, if price comes up here, that's what I'm anticipating. So for now, I don't have anything in current market price. Although price can just accelerate, I won't have any setup. But if we do come take out to these highs, then we should now anticipate a pattern to form and we should look for more sales on J10. Um, v250, one as we spoke about this yesterday. We had a red line marked here on this H1 order block, which is this one. And it's been selling ever since. They didn't retest this zone. There was just momentum there. So it looks like today it will be a continuation to the downside. Um, Let's see where we can sell from. Okay, depending with the acceleration we have in the markets, uh, this price can just sell from where it is like with this price section i see momentum here okay h1 yesterday's lows broken looks like a retest mm. Okay, I just saw another zone there. So again, price can still come up into that zone there. So if price does come up to that area, TDI should give us something like this. Just to confirm, because this it's definitely a downtrend forming, but what we need is price to retrace either into this area or retrace to the 50 EMA or to this order block here before selling. They can still potentially come above the day's highs, maybe to this extreme before selling. So we just keep an eye, but if we get a nameable candle here, we're going to sell, same applies to here, same applies to this area. So we put three points of interest there. 
Uh, I think that's it for today. Let's see. We'll just wait for C5 at the moment. It's the one with an immediate setup. Okay, C1 looks like it will also play out. The way it's looking right now, let's see. Okay, we're going to enter a sell and cut a market price. Soon as we break that red line, we are going to scale in. So the reasoning here, you can see price is taking out the current highs for the day. And uh, they've created an M pattern on the 200 EMA on a weekly zone, which was broken. So there are quite a couple of confluences there. So what I want to see now is before I can scale in on the runner, is price actually breaking, closing below this area, showing uh, momentum. And if we can get a slight pullback, then I'll scale in and hold uh, until maybe we break these lows. Uh, we'll just see what the what pattern we get. But for now, with a sell, the current market price, Uh, the 30 EMA, the 30 minute time frame also looks good because price is about to close below the 13 EMA. So if we get it close below the 13 EMA as well here, that will be another sign to scale in. And we can also get a drop from here actually. So let's see how far this price can sell. Oh yeah, we can target, um, 70 pips. We can target 50 pips on this trade. Uh, take profit will be around 58.70, 58.75 area. That's my current view there. So let's see how that plays out. But for now, that's the pattern I have. Stop loss would be outside the range. If price does come back up here, we can cut loss see what they want to do so that's it on c1 and uh c5 those are two current trades if c5 gives us a pattern here or a nameable candle rather because the pattern is there already we have an m uh neckline being retested possibly being retested for the second time uh before we get a sell so once we get a nameable candle in this area then we should be actually scaling in we'll add a position. Then as we get in motion, we'll add some more positions. So I think that's it uh, from me today. If there's anything else, I'll still update in the um, Telegram group. I don't know if there's any questions, if you've got any questions, bro. Based on what I've uh, just analyzed, Okay, all right, bro. So I recorded this session. I'll uh, probably post it on YouTube. Then I'll send the link to the Telegram group in case you want to go through it again. Then if we have any other signals during the course of the day, based on what we've marked up, then I'll just advise on entries and stop loss. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, we'll continue the chats on Telegram.